Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Kakaki Social. I am Ohimai Amaize. This is a segment of the show where we spotlight the issues that shape conversations in the Nigerian social media. It's a season of political promises and of course uh, the PDP presidential candidate uh, uh, Tiko Abubaka is said to be promising that when he becomes president, uh, uh, fear price of fear is going to be 19 naira per liter and that the social media is reacting already but not so much with excitement. Let's take a look though. Uh, Atiku Abubaka will reduce the price of petrol to 19 naira per liter. This was what the PDP said yesterday uh, that has got a lot of Nigerians talking uh, just in. Atiku will reduce petrol price to 19 naira per liter, says PDP. The cable filed this report yesterday. Uh, well, let's take a look at uh, excerpts from that report. Uh, the People's Democratic Party, PDP says its presidential candidate will reduce the cost of premium motor spirit, PMS, popularly known as petrol, to 87 to 19 naira per litre. In a statement by Kola Ologbodinho, spokesman of the People's Democratic Party on Thursday, the party said former Vice President Atiko Abubakar had consulted with international players in the oil industry and found that the President Muhammadu Buhari administration is fleecing Nigerians. The PDP alleged that the cabals within the Buhari government are diverting 58 naira on every litre of petrol sold. Uh, these are uh, a statement from the PDP yesterday. Now let's go to the comment section and take a look at how Nigerians are reacting. Mutawali tweeting said that uh, Atiku is promising to reduce the price of petrol, create jobs for everybody, dash car and house for all, wash our clothes, cook our food, do our market errands and pay our medical bills if we get him elected. The guy means well. Uh, let's take a look at uh, more tweets from Nigerians yesterday, why this issue was trending. Uh, comments from Nigerians. Uh, let's go and take a look at more comments. Uh, the Bloomberg reporter for Africa, Paul Wallace, tweeting said, the interesting move from Nigeria's leading opposition candidate, Atiku Abubakar. He says he reduced petrol prices and that they should be as low as 90 naira per liter. A return of full-blown subsidies if he wins? Current price of 145 naira is already well below market costs. This is a Paul Wallace, a Bloomberg uh, uh, reporter for Africa, tweeting from Shadowy underscore thought. We saw this tweet. What will this man and his campaign team be offering next? We will reduce the unit cost of electricity. Is this the outcome of the week-long high-level Dubai retreat? <laughs> Comments uh, from Nigerians on Atiku's uh, message to Nigerians that is going to reduce uh, the price of petrol to 19 naira per liter. From JV Moke tweeting said, uh, whoever is advising you on this is leading you to the slaughter. Don't take a ridiculous, unprofitable route. Learn, discern, and be honest. Meanwhile, it's better to be quiet and be taught intelligent than speak and remove all doubts. I wish you well. Uh, let's take a look at uh, from Saga Saita. We saw the tweet. Please, please, please. You should not tell the line of this lifeless APC that promised us heaven and earth, but took us to hellfire when they got into power. Do your maths very well before making such promises. We already know Atiku will work very well. He's a good man. And then uh, more reactions from Goldiology. We saw this tweet. I'm supporting PDP, but stop that petrol reduction. But stop that petrol reduction. It can't work. Nothing goes up and comes down in the Nigerian economy. All politicians are the same. Buari said more than that. Just create job and security and stable the economy. These are comments from Nigerians to Atiku Abubakar and then Omo underscore Akin tweeting said that story, story, same songs since the beginning of the world. Promises upon promises, not one ever completely fulfilled. True fiscal federalism before anything else. And then uh, from Explorer Taga, the person handling PDP handle should stop tweeting rubbish. <laughs> this is uh, from uh, Explorer Taga. And then of course we go to this video that uh, members of the APC have been uh, gleefully sharing in the social media. Uh, the APC United Kingdom verified handle tweeted and said, Peter Obi slams PDP and Atiku. PDP looted and shared Nigeria's commonwealth instead of saving for a rainy day. PDP created Nigeria's current economic problems years back. Buhari is doing so much with so little. Of course, this is a video of what Peter B said uh, before he became uh, the running mate to Atiku. He made a comment that uh, was trending yesterday. Let's take a look at this video. I remember Ngozi Wella crying every day to all us governors, let's save this money. Let's invest more in sovereign wealth fund. Let's invest more in whatever thing we have agreed to save money, that there must be a ready day. Every one and each of us, every one and each of us, every one and each of us said no. Let's share the money. 
Yeah. What is that talking about rainy day? That is already pouring. And everybody have not run the other way and say, oh, things are bad. But you created this problem yesterday. But you created this problem yesterday. But you created this problem yesterday. Motherfuckers never loved us. President Bari supporters on social media love this video and they've been sharing it all through yesterday. Let's take a look at comments from Nigerians. Peter will be re-emphasizing the fact that the last government refused to save. In his words, the former finance minister Ngozi okonjo iweala was crying that they should save, but they refused. He admits that they created the problem we face today. From Tosin Aded, I saw that tweet, and from Uche Imota, people are really not getting his message. He meant those who said, let's share the money, and now the ones who jumped boats to be in APC today, mismanaging and also sharing our money in the name of fighting corruption. And then uh, let's take a look at uh, this tweet from uh, the bar there, Obama tweeting, said, uh, this actually shows Peter Albi is a clear thinker and far better than the mild version of the vice president we have. He wasn't lying. It was mainly APC governors that chose to oppose the Sovereign Wealth Fund, and they even went to court. Stop spreading lies. And from uh, Agbori Kali, who saw this tweet, this is cheap talk. How is it that it's PDP that are responsible here? When Peter Obi's statement said, us governors, and then he was a member of ABGA, us governors mean all governors, including APC governors at that time. And then from Ifi Agbunike, we saw this tweet. You guys, are deep, you guys are really desperate to pick out something on Peter Albee. Shows the man is a threat. Shameless, desperate lots. Peter Albee was one of the few that insisted that money should be saved. Amechi, Fashola, Akbabiu, Oshomoli, we are the ones who led the argument for money to be shared. Uh, Nigerians bringing back uh, memories. And of course, yesterday, uh, Loretta Onoche, the personal assistant to President Buhari on New Media, tweeted again, shared another video. She said, First, it was Peter Obi. Now it's another Peter. Fire share. Hear him. President Obasanjo will come to you and talk more, more, more. Quoting the words of Fire share in that in the video we're about to watch. More corruption in PDP as exposed by one of their own. Who can know PDP more than PDP? Articles emergence means our job is made easy. Loretta Onoche has been known to make very controversial statements in social media. Shared this video yesterday. Let's take a look at that video. Come to you and talk. Small, 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 small. And I said to you, Your Excellency, even if you give your blood, your being, your strength, and your life to President Obasanjo, when Obasanjo accuses people and government on the day of corruption, what happened to the 50 million share during the top time attendance? The donation of 10 million to the Obasanjo Library, what do you call that? That is corruption. Go and look for the code of conduct. The funds filled by the ambassador and his wealth today. We knew when he came out of prison. We knew the situation. We knew his wealth when he left off. Who is he accusing? This is not a country where after serving your own tenure, what you cannot take, you are giving to others. The law is in law. Well, uh, the APC using the words of PDP chieftains against them now. Tola Ogunleye tweeting said, We should be busy reeling at the positive to impacts and achievements under the leadership of Buari and Oshibanjo as president and spotting where we haven't made much gain and what we are doing to improve on our performance as a party. This shouldn't be our focus. And from John Obasi 7, Your job is easy and you know if it's sleep since Atiku emerged, PDP presidential flag bearer. And then uh, we saw this tweet from Horn Thriving Man. Job made easy indeed. Atiku's emergence is democratic. Your boss emergence was dictated. Who is corrupt inside corruption? And then uh, from Akin Tokumbo, Ola too tweeting said, uh, This video is not recent. Onoche or Anosike, whatever you call yourself. As for me and my household, we shall articulate. Thank you. And then uh, we move on talking about videos. We move on now to this issue of the governor of Kano State, uh, Abdullahi Uma Ganduje, which has been trending all through the week in the Nigerian social media. A fourth video emerged yesterday in the Nigerian social media that shows the governor again collecting, uh, rece purportedly receiving bribes uh, from contractors. The video is uh, quite damning, as we saw in the social media. Let's go and take a look at comments how Nigerians are reacting to this issue. It's become like an action movie, like we said yesterday. This is part four of the video that is being released in beats and in series uh, from Farouk Berugi, he shared the video yesterday, he said, this is the fourth, yes, fourth video of Kanos Abdullah Ganduje or Abdullah Gandola 
collecting kickbacks from a contractor in dollar bills. Notice the APC flag around him, which now symbolizes corruption with impunity. Uh, we'll, we'll take a screenshot. We can't show you the video. But we'll take a screenshot from that uh, video. Uh, you can see the governor holding uh, some dollar bills in his hands in that, uh, in that video, which is trending heavily. You really want to watch the video, please go on social media. It's right on social media where it's trending. Uh, let's go on and take a look at how Nigerians were reacting yesterday uh, from IMF. We saw this tweet. Ganduje has something on Buhari for him to see these videos and still ignore it. EFCC should have visited him. And then from Dr. Joe Abba tweeting, this new Ganduje video looks very real. Though. The previous one where they appear to have told him to stand up to receive money looked incredulous, almost as if he was jazzed. But this one looks quite real. Though. Now, wow, from Dr. Joe Abba yesterday and from Gimba Kakanda, no father should disgrace his children the way Ganduje has done. Habamana. And then uh, we saw this from Hon underscore AGS. If Ganduje was a member of PDP, it would have been the final nail to their coffin. But since he's a member of the All Saint Party, he can't be touched by the anti corruption armies. And then from Sani Kadiri, the president is pretending not to have seen Ganduje's video. Four videos so far, so is the EFCC, ICPC, and police. I mean, Ganduje is the biggest test of this administration's anti-corruption stance. And before Nigerians and indeed the world, they have failed spectacularly. And then from he, he Che Hayatu, the heat should now be on the Kano State House of Assembly to do the needful and impeach Ganduje. The embarrassment is enough. Another very hilarious note, uh, Ben Clamsey tweeting said, exchange rate today, one Ganduje equal to 365 Naira. Of course, the rest is left for you to see and laugh. And then, of course, uh, the cable reporting yesterday, the Kano Assembly panel summons Ganduje over bribery videos. From that issue, we move now to Instagram, where President Buhari's son Yusuf posed yesterday with his NYSC outfit in Abuja. And of course, Trust Nigerian social media, they have some comments over this issue. Let's take a snippet of uh, that uh, video that showed uh, Yusuf Buhari posing with his NYSC uniform, and the comments are followed. Clearly, I am Champs 231 uh, posting said, at least what his father couldn't achieve, he has achieved. Let him pose well, well with it. And from Tokbe Oloni, we saw this post. I hope he was posted to a public school in Yanya and he stays in the copper's lodge with no personal security so he can have real life experience. And from Chi underscore K100, this one has done POP already. Now to collect certificate remain. And then from Ohis Harmony, and the son shall be greater than the father, as Papa no serve, Peking don't serve. <laughs> from Kai Nene underscore, his father should present his school certificate, that's all. And from Undukasi, we saw this post, how sure are we that he went to school in the first place? Well, it's Friday on Kakaki Social, and it's that moment where we bring you a throwback video of uh, something that trended in the Nigerian social media in the past. Uh, it's our flashback Friday video. This video trended uh, heavily in the Nigerian social media a couple of months ago. I uh, will bring it to you again as we wrap up this segment of the show. Take a look. Did you hear that price of fuel might increase? They might increase from 145 to uh, 175 or 180. Will that stop uh, the shortage of fuel? Okay, if it will, would you, would you mind? I'm asking. If they increase the price of uh, the pump price, will that make it available? I don't know. It's a, a question you and me have to answer. You know where we started? You know where we are? They keep on increasing that fuel will be available, fuel will be available. Now it is not available. Now if we agree that it should go up now, is that an assurance that the fuel will continue to be available? No. So if they say fuel will be available, if they increase the price, what do you think? Have we not been paying high prices for things we can get? Yes. Tomato is high. Rice is high. Did we not buy? Nigerians have. You know, we are very, very docile people. Just make us comfortable. We can pay the price. You understand me? But the government is not making things available, making things difficult. Even with your money, you cannot get what you want. You see your generation, how they are spoiling Nigeria. My generation, they were well. The generation well. is spoiling Nigeria. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah. how, how are we spoiling? Oh, young men like you, you can't handle. That's why you went to the village to bring old people like us to come and run the government for you. Ha, <laughs> ha. I, I didn't do that. Huh? I didn't do that. Your generation did that. I thought we were moving forward with um, 
the past uh, president. Now you went to the village to bring a retired man. I went to the village to bring him. Yes, you, your generation went to the village to bring them. All right? Man should be having his rest. What indices has he? What time has he to Google and know what is happening everywhere? Any more questions, sir? None. Hmm? None. So, thank you, sir. If you love this country, eh? if you love this country, come out and do politics and save this country. The elders have spoken. On that note, we wrap up Kakaki Social this morning. Follow the conversation on all our various social media platforms uh, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Kakaki Social. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Kakaki Social. I am Ohimai Amaize. Kakaki Social returns Monday next week. Stay tuned as I hand you over back now to Shola and Sally. The last video. Did the, the, the elders pass down the right principles to the younger generation to be able to empower them to take over power? <laughs> well, they're still not too young to run, uh, you know, law right Act, now. Yes. Act, yeah. right now. So um, young people can actually come out and, uh, you know, run for office. And run for office yes. and change the things so they don't like. Exactly. That's Thank right. you so much, Ohimai. Thank Have a beautiful much, weekend. Thank you, Shala. <laughs>